Good morning, everybody. This is the end of April, and it is chilly this morning. It's, uh, I think, 30 degrees, so that's just a little bit low, below freezing here this morning. Um, we've got uh, several things to do this morning, um, but I'm having some troubles in the sawmill and um, actually with the skid steer too. My skid steer has been giving me troubles with the seat switch for you mechanical guys. Um, that's what's happening with my skid steer, so it will not start up again this morning. So a friend of mine is coming over at some point to try to get that fixed. Um, I'm also having troubles with my sawmill. The hydraulic system, I a solenoid we believe is gone so I'm waiting on the new solenoid to get that put in so that I can get back to doing some sawing. We also have a few problems in the horse barn so we'll go there. So here we are in the horse barn as you can see the barns aren't clean because the skid steers broke down. We could clean it by hand but uh, we hope to get the skid steer fixed by later this afternoon. So okay so Brenda's finishing up Ken and she is going to help me. We have a um, I'm going to give Buck his CBD oil that we talked about in one of our later last videos. And then we have some problems with, with Duke and we'll talk about that. So I'm just going to give him his CBD oil and just stick it in his mouth and squish it in. And Pretty simple to do. We'll see if that helps him. Okay, I got the camera set up because I need Brenda to help me with this job. So what we have is we had started seeing about a week and a half ago, um, Duke's eye was, he was keeping it closed quite a bit and he had a tiny little bit of discharge in his eyes. He got a tiny little bit of discharge even this morning. But, so we knew there's something wrong. We thought maybe it was just something in his eye. It, was gonna clean his, it would clean itself out. But it, kind of kept going on so we decided to call our vet Petra to come over and take a look at it. So she came over um, the other day and looked at it and uh, at first she thought it might have been something to do with the tear duct but then she checked that. She did something to she check that. She did a stain. She did some sort of a stain thing and then she, but she looked in the eye and found a what was it she found? A little ulcer. She found this little ulcer in his eye. So that's what we're going to be treating. So she has this uh, stuff um, do you remember it's what an antibiotic she, ointment. Yeah, an antibiotic ointment. Um, and we're, we need to just slide it on his eye, which really isn't a very easy job to do, but we're going to attempt it right now. So it's just like a, it's an ointment, so like she just wants a little ribbon on the bottom lid. Yeah, so what I want you to do, Brenda, mm -hmm. I'm going to unhitch him. Mm -hmm. But I want you to hold him good. Ouch. Stepped on my foot. Hold him good, and then I'm going to attempt to put some in his eye. This is a job that no one really likes to do. Um, and nobody likes to have it done. I'm trying to like distract him. Maybe. <laughs> okay. You got it already? Yep. Wow. You're a good boy. We should have a treat for Dookie every time. What so, do you think of that? Oops. Can you step on you again? <laughs> So these guys are gonna go outside and I believe we'll probably put the blacks outside also. And then I have some jobs for the Belgian to be doing today. So the other day we decided to do a little work in the garden and we put up a raised bed for Brenda. Why don't you tell everybody what's going on here? Well, um, th these are tamarack um, two by sixes and I wanted something a little bit raised out of the garden because I these are strawberry plants we just got. They're June bearing strawberry plants. And um, I wanted something that's a little raised up because we have such wet springs um, that I thought, and strawberries like well drained soil. We, we made this bed. We just, Jim put some barnyard dirt in it after we, he um, screwed the two by sixes together. And um, then I planted them and I have some old, really composted, um, corn silage and that stuff is beautiful mulch so I put that on pretty heavy because it's easy to get a lot of weeds and strawberries so I'm a little worried about that barnyard dirt having a lot of weeds in it but that's okay at least we got mulch on here let's go real quick show them your other strawberry bed from the other year this is my ever bearing strawberry bed and I haven't weeded it yet 
Um, but anyways, these fruit all summer long off and on. So these are nice to have right outside of our kitchen uh, so I can run out and get strawberries for my cereal and whatnot. Um, but anyways, they make a lot of runners. I'm going to have to move some new ones in and get rid of some old plants. But I've been, had this for a few years now. It's worked great. I want to show one of the raised beds, your other raised bed, or no? This is one of the other raised beds we did. This has been here a couple years, and we have raspberry plants in here, which are going to have to be thinned. But um, so far, so good. Sometimes raised beds um, get pretty dry, so they would have to be watered, but they work really good. So the other day, we had to bring some dirt from, from up the road, and I just brought it over here to the skid steer, and the bucket in the garden was way too wet at the time. So I had to lay some 2x6s down, and we had to carefully drive the tractor, the skid steer tires on the, on these two, two by six planks to dump it into the bed. And then Brenda still had to spread it out quite a bit. So these two by sixes that we have here will go to make one more raised bed down on this side of the garden. But before we do that, we have to get the wagon out of there. So we'll go on to that job next. So I decided I'm going to take Bill out to, to get that wagon of our way. I don't want to hitch on two horses to do this simple a job. I'm going to pull the wagon out of the way, and then I'm going to hitch on to a round bale and take it out to the cows. Since my skids just broke down, they need feed. So he will pull that out to the cows. So let's get that wagon. Cast up. Cast up. Oh. This is actually not the This is actually not the best job to do with a horse with a loose evener because as you pull something like this that you don't really have very good control and you have no stopping control at all but I'm just going to pull it up through the garden up to the end and that's all I'm going to do with it. Step up. Oh. Ah. Okay. Happy. Hey. 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 Just a little bit. Oh. Ma. Hey. So now that's out of our way and the hitch is here so I can hitch onto it without having to go onto the garden. We're gonna leave it right here. And now we've got room to be able to do the other um, raised bed for Brenda. Okay, so now let's go get a round bell and take it out there for the cows. Cup stop. Oh. Hey, tip off. Hip, hip. Hip. Ha. Tip off. Ha. Ha. Oh. Ah. 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 Oh, gee.
Careful, calf step. Have you? Have you? Oh! Up here. Oh, my hook flipped around. It's so low here. But we got unhitched. Can't get the chain off. If I come over here and hitch on right here, it should flip it around. I step back. Ha. Ha. Oh. Bye. Hey. Let's see what happens. It cuffs up. Oh! Ah! Hey, Bill. Oh! Ah! Oh! For some reason, I'm having the hardest time getting this chain off of this bale. Oh, nice step, cuff step. Oh, my, oh, oh. I finally got it pulled up onto a rock, so I was able to get underneath it and get the chain on hitch so I could get out of here. Step a little bit. Careful. Oh. And step up. Step up. Oh. Okay. We got that. Done. Now we just gotta cut this and somehow get the plastic wrap and twine off of it. So we have to make sure we get all the twine off the bale. Last thing we want is an animal to eat any of this twine. So we gotta put the chain back on and roll this over. There's no way you and I are gonna roll that, I don't think. If it hits it really high, it should flip it over, no problem. All right, come over here, let's attempt it. So Brenda and I are gonna to attempt to roll this over, but these wet bales are extremely heavy. I don't know if we, if we can do it or not. If we can't, we'll put chain on and roll it over with, with Bill. Ready? Keep going, okay, that's good. That's good. We did it, okay. Let's get all the twine in the, all together here. Get our trash off the field. Okay, we got that job done. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoy these types of videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And we'll continue to show in some of the things that we do with our horses. Bye. Have a good day.